Hey, Lee Pennington here, I hope you are well. It's that time of month again where we've added your new images and your new video mockups directly to the application for you to start to use immediately. And what I also wanna to talk to you about in this video is the new layout that we currently have, a new feature that is within the application, or a couple of new features, and also some news of where we're going with Dropmock and what's happening in the background. So let's start with the layout. As you can see on my screen now, the layout has become more centralized. Um, and as you can see, as we scroll down, everything now is within the center of your screen. There's a couple of reasons why we change the layout, but number one being that it doesn't matter the type of screen, the resolution of the screen that you are viewing on. The actual layout will always be static, will always be the same. So that means the buttons will always be the same and it makes it a much more user-friendly platform. So that's one of the reasons. Talking about the UI and the UX, this is kind of leading me into what we're actually doing in the background. Last week, we actually interviewed a number of Dropmock users. And when I said we interviewed, I actually got them on a call with our UX guys, our UI guys, and they went through what they like about Dropmock, what they don't like about Dropmock, what they'd like to see in the platform. And that allowed our team members to come back and actually make a kind of um, a plan for moving forward with the new UI and the new UX and allowed it to assess what our users actually thought of the platform. Now this is really great and in about four to five weeks you should see a totally revamped drop mock. Okay, a totally new UI, totally new UX. I'm only gonna give that to you. And like I say, we have a couple of reasons for that. The main one being is that we are continually trying to improve the platform and that does mean us reinvesting in it. We're not happy with medium or middle of the road. We always want to push those boundaries. And that's why we feel that to stay in front of the trends, we need to change the layout. We need to change it and make it um, you know, more advanced. So you will start to see that over the next few weeks. What you'll also notice when you log into the application is that a lot of people said that when they were scrolling um, the actual mockups to find one that they liked, so they weren't using the filter on the left-hand side, but they were scrolling uh, and they found a mockup that they liked. But when they found it and clicked on it, okay, so they previewed it, it actually went over to that screen. And what happened then was that they realized, well, I don't want to use that mock-up so I can preview it, whether it's an image or whether it's a video, I don't want to use it. So then they went back and what happened was they were scrolled right to the top of the page and they lost where they were. So what can happen now is that you can actually preview the mock-up directly where you are and you can decide whether you want to use the template and when you click out, okay, you're exactly where you were before. We understand, you know, we've got hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of images and hundreds and hundreds of videos. So again, this is what we're doing with regards to the, the navigation of the software. Um, and, you know, you just need to look at the new ones that we're going in. We're always trying to give you as many options available as possible for your marketing material. And we also realize that you have different customers to, let's say, another Dropmock user and vice versa. So we wanna make the platform as versatile as possible. We wanna give you options. We wanna be able to give you the ability to be able to market virtually any niche that you decide. So as you'll see now, these mockups are also um, following the trend of giving you totally unique, fresh mockups in both the images and the videos. So let's look at the videos. Okay, and when you go over to the videos, you will see, you know, there's new designs, there's new fresh kind of look and feel about the application uh, and really kind to make them a, a little bit different to what the norm is. Um, but one of the new features which I want to show you, okay, well, two actually, um, people did say that can we bunch together the different display ratio? So we've started to do that now with regard to display ratios at the bottom, but we've also got in the moving video, okay, um, and this is a powerful new applicator, powerful new tech that's gone into Dropmock, and this is now available for you to use. And we've currently been testing this, okay, um, and we now feel it's ready for you to start using. So we're gonna to start to put lots and lots of more mock-ups like this within Dropmock. And that isn't just T-shirts, you'll start to see lots of different things. But let me kind of show this to you. So when you preview it, okay, 
So what you've got, you've got a moving video and we can now put kind of images as a design, as your business, as your logo onto that moving video, okay? So this is uh, one of them and let's just go and see how that looks. And this is an, another one. Like I say, these are just our test ones that we've been using, but as you can see, everything's moving, the guy's moving and you can put the image within the, okay? Very simple. So let me just preview this. Let me just use that template. See so what I was saying? You can now go over and start to use that template. So upload your content. And again, you know this, but I'll just show you this. So upload your content. And I'm just going to choose this design. I don't know what it's going to look like. Okay. Let me just put that there. Okay. And again, this doesn't have to just be a t-shirt design. You think about it. There's so many options available for you. You literally can put your business, your design, your logo on somebody like the wearing the t-shirt. So let's crop and create that. Uh, and it works at the same principle as what the other videos does in the fact that you add your image, you crop it to size, you press the button and it works in the background and probably takes about 20 to 30 seconds to create you that preview. And then you're happy with it, you simply download the video for you to start using in your own marketing material. So probably about another five seconds and we should be good to go. Okay, less than five seconds, we're good. So we can preview that. And as you can see now, the design is the, it's a moving video and you've got it smack bang in the middle. And this is in standard definition, as you know, okay? So it isn't HD at all, because when you download it, that's when you get the choice to do that. Now this gives you so many options with regards using Dropmock. And remember, we want to provide the most versatile platform out there for all your marketing needs, both in video, in images, and in the scene creator. Now, what you'll also find is that you'll find a button that's saying pitch, okay? Now that is about a new software that we are bringing out and we'll let you know about that in the next couple of weeks. And talking about software, um, what we're gonna do in the next few hours probably is let you know about a brand new software that's just hit the market or will be just hitting the market that is going to be rivaling the likes of YouTube and Vimeo, okay? Um, and also Wister. But the cool thing about the software that we're gonna let you know about, and this is perfect for you to be able to use or host your drop mock videos on this platform, is that it gives you many, many more options with the platform and it's completely cost effective to whatever else is out there. And the options that it gives you actually allows you to be able to sell things through the video. Okay, if you think about YouTube and the kind of disadvantage that you're at with not being able to promote what you want um, and also kind of buttons that you can put there, well, this is a totally unique, fresh platform that we will let you know about and let you make your informed decision of whether or not you can use that in your business. So do please look out for that email that we will send out soon. Um, what I should say though is, hope you're loving Dropmock. Um, we're always open to you know uh, any ideas that, that you may have and we are keep growing the platform we add to it every single month as promised and we will continue to do that and we're going to continue to push those boundaries so thank you so much enjoy the rest of your day and looking forward to speaking to you soon thank you